back to Oilers Daily, and today I will be talking about the 2016 draft and how the picks two to four um, all had problems with their teams, and how Matthews could ease, could be moving when his contract is over. So let's start from one and work our way down to four. Um, so firstly. The reason I think this is because an anonymous source told me. Uh, I'm not going to name that source because he's preferred to remain anonymous. But thank you to him, by the by the way. Um, and he also si- he did not sign a max deal. I'm pretty sure he only signed five years. Yeah, five years. And so I think if he wanted to stay, he would have like I'm not knocking them or anything. I could easily be wrong. But he only signed five years, a bit weird. Um, and I think that's smart. He he could go to Edmonton. No, I'm kidding. They don't have the cat. Um, but, yeah, so I don't think he really has a problem with the team. But when it comes to contract negotiation, I think he might. But I could be totally wrong on that note. But picks two to four, I'll be right on. Okay, so pick number two, I think it was, yeah, it was Patrick Laine. Um so, fun story, um, I was listening to 31 Thoughts, and they had the, I think it was Shad Baldeoff, and he had talks about maybe trading his pick, but it never really, uh, he, want, he wanted to trade up to, like, they might have traded first and, I mean, second and thirds, but it never happened, and yeah. So, line A, no one really knows what went on. Um, yeah, so I'll also be talking a bit about that trade, uh, when I'm also done talking about Pierre Luke. Um, he's had a great career so far. Like, he's had complications with the Jets. I don't know what, like, he seems like a good kid. I think he's still going to be very good in Columbus. Might not like it as much because it's not a, as much of a hockey city, but. Yeah, um, so I don't really know what went on there. And same with Pierre-Luc Dubois, which actually drafted third. Um, yeah, no one really knows what's going on with that saga, but there has been a trade, as you probably heard, unless you've been living under a rock. Uh, yeah, so, and then to get straight to, like, sorry, one sec before I get to him. Um... Line eight, he's great goal scorer. I think he needs to work a bit of a a bit on his defensive game and I think his passing is pretty good good, but yeah. And then third pick is Pierre Luc Dubois. Everybody thought Pooley Arvey was gonna go third. They thought it would be um Matt Matthews Line Pooley Arvey, but it ends up that Pierre Luc got drafted. And I think he's a bit of the same guy as Line A, like pretty not maybe not as good of a shot, but pretty good passer at least. Like not at least, but you know what I mean. Uh I think he's very good. Um I really don't know what to say about him. I don't know why he got traded. It could have been because of Torts, because angry Torts. But what really I think set like got him traded, like it, you're not playing in another game, is when his last game, he just didn't try. Like, what, he had five shifts, maybe? And then Torts just benched him, which I don't blame him for if a guy's not trying for your team and it's the NHL. You should bench him and trade him. So that trade turned out pretty good for both of them because they both got superstars who wanted to be traded. Or maybe, like, all-stars, whatever. Um... Yeah, so Roslovic, I think, and Dubois for a third and a line. Oh, no, Roslovic and um, Line, my bad. To Columbus for Pierre Luc and Dubois and a third round pick. It seems like I think that the Columbus will win that trade hands down, but you never know. Like, because I think they get two pretty good, one pretty good guy, like, player, and then another is, sorry, I woke up um, earlier this morning.
Yeah, and then, yeah, just, yeah. And then pick number four, Pooley RV. We all know what happened. His famous line, I shoot, I score. Uh, I'll put that in the link. But, yeah, it's, uh, I think he was kind of a jerk when he first, I mean, in the, yeah, in the link, like, down below. Um, yeah, I think he was a bit of a jerk when he first got him, but went in. But I think this year... He has the potential to be a pretty good player, not as not as good as Oilers fans hoped, but I think he could be a second line winger easily. But I think he's doing very well on McDavid's line. They should keep him there until he stops getting good. So if I had to get someone, I think the draft or like the top four, I I would probably still be pretty. I think it would be the same. Um, yeah, so Pooley RV, he got, what, two goals last game? I was really happy about that. I was out of my seat jumping when I saw them. Uh, so yeah, thank you, Pooley RV, for restoring my trust. I'm not going to get a Pooley RV jersey quite yet, because as soon as I get it, he's going to get, he's going to suck and then get traded. Uh, so yeah, that's all for today. Um, next vid, oh, quick reminder, sorry I didn't upload, um, but I promise I will upload in the next two days, and the next one will be, uh, um, a Canadian's Oilers preview, and how the Oilers could do better to improve against Price or Jake Allen, whoever's gonna be in that. Um, you the best, peace.